Hello everyone, this is Pranav Rao. In this video, we'll be solving another challenge from Meta CTF. This is going to be a forensic based challenge in which we'll be analyzing PCAP files. So let's dive in. Coming to the challenge, we captured network traffic of someone connecting to a file share on server and writing to a file Writing to a few files. The flag is in the flag.png file. Find it. Hint. See if you can isolate the RPC, that is remote procedure call, requests that are responsible for writing files to the file system, and pull out the payload of the of the one that writes flag.png. Copy bytes as raw binary might be helpful, but there are other valid approaches too. Okay, so we just need to uh, analyze this packet file. Uh, the pcap file and then we need to find the place where the flag.png file is being written to it so let's open wireshark which is a popular tool used for capturing network traffics and uh, even for analyzing other pcap files or the packet captured files so i'll click on file and then open it goes to my downloads folder and open this pcap file yeah, so we this is the way how network uh, are captured in any capturing tool. So how big is the file? Okay, not big, not that big file. Uh, here we see some protocols that is TCP and then um, NFS, which is network file system, and uh, some other. Uh, that's it. I just see two protocols being used or being captured in this pickup file. So let's. Usually NFS or the network file system, as the name says itself, it's used for uh, transferring files and those things. So let's add a filter for NFS and then press enter. So now all the protocols that is displayed here is all related to NFS itself. And uh, now since that they've told it's being written, I will be ignoring some of these things, uh, some of these protocols from here. So uh we don't need access it's basically connecting let me open these uh also so that we can have a proper uh, looking of the file or the verification of it so now scrolling down it's looking at files and this i guess they're scanning for some of these things or browsing over the network uh, for the files or so those things right so those are all the bytes of it and we see access come again and then look up uh read directories okay and then we see a close statement here oh we also see a write one here okay so we see a write happening here that is someone writing into something uh let's look at this let's analyze it here let me open this more okay so raw packet data these are all not that important to me as of now let's close this uh, i don't even need this one but here this is what we need and what's actually happening right so uh this is the headers that is for the file that's happening then network file system yeah tag and then operations that is going through here so in the operations we see that is right happening and then the sequence uh Let's open this properly. Okay, so also we see some uh, message here. This is in the flag. Find the packet that writes the flag PNG file and extract its contents. Its contents will span over multiple TCP segments. Is it TCP segments? Okay. Uh, fine. Segments, but Wireshark should uh read resemble them for you that png image will contain the flag okay it was hard to read for me because of those spaces yeah but um, if this is not writing what is writing what is written to here we can see it from the contents or uh, this place where it shows what is being written mm, uh, this is the data basically uh, this is what is being written but or to what file here somewhere you can see it 
okay um somewhere here where you can see to which file this particular uh, file handle yeah so here i can see that it's being written to not the flag.txt file okay so that's fine this is another write function or the write uh, procedure that's happening and uh, again the operations uh nothing much i guess it's being written to the same thing it's being uh, and i also see a close happening here okay let's go further and we also see another write uh, statement and this looks a bit like something is actually written um okay this is a small thing so network uh, is it written to some file yeah flag.png i can see it here right so and this is the png file let me click on the data segment of it this is going to be the data of the flag and then right click uh, let's copy this file copy as what as a hex dump yeah i guess that would be a better way uh, yeah i'll copy this and then come here open cyberchef I paste it here hex dump from hex dump yeah so this has generated a png file let me click on that and then download dot png okay and downloads folder itself and open this file yeah i can i can kind of see it here uh, but it's not loading fault error reading the oh okay i guess that's something is it because of those uh these characters what was there let me go here uh i don't think so let me do this let's edit it now um, nano downloads or png then remove these characters so this should do it if not that xdg hyphen open this folder and open this oh no i guess i corrupted it but still further okay let's copy this again uh just the contents the data part then copy as hex dump coming here pasting it here then remove the backspace and all those things now save it here download.png itself yeah in the same folder save replace and now if i open it yeah i got the flag yeah so i guess that was some other error or maybe some leading characters which was uh basically corrupting the file name of it or the file contents of it yeah so we found the flag using the image what we extracted so that is it for this video thank you